I'm getting out. Here it is. Oh, it's trying to fight back. There we go. Right here. All right, guys. As you can see, uh, this one's pretty ugly looking. Uh. Hey guys, Cody Peterson here, and today we're going to be looking for the Red Spray Rhino Beetle, but before we do that, we're going to check around and see what critters we can find. Alright guys, come on, let's go. Over here, Mark, we got a couple more insects. There we go! There we go! There's an insect! Man, as you can see guys, just so you know, don't try this at home, me and Mark are very trained professionals. You could uh, get these nets stuck in some trees and kill turtles or something like that. So be very cautious when using this uh, net gun. We got special access to it because we're the Brave Wilderness team though. Okay, here it is. Alright, boom, okay. What's up, Coyote Pack? I'm Coyote Peterson, and today we're going to be looking for a special beetle in a special rainforest. Today we got Mark, and here he got a special uh, insect catching helicopter provided by the uh, the Forest Service. And uh, we're gonna go up and see if we can uh, find this thing, All right, guys? Okay, let's go. Now we're going to continue our search for the Red Spray Rhino Beetle. I just want to give you guys some more details on the Red Spray Rhino Beetle. It's a uh, red, very big. It has this certain venom that it sprays out of this top cannon looking object on its top. Okay. The Red Spray Beetle is very dangerous. I just want to inform you guys, just before we go and catch this, do not try this at home. Just admire it from a safe distance if you ever see it in the wild. Alright guys, we just land in the forest. Right now, we're going to go looking for the insect. Alright, as you can see, gotta be very peaceful. Let me get my, uh, passive, uh, animal catching thing out whoa wait mark over here you see this you see these berries that are eaten off of it as you can see that's a prime example of where uh, it eats because it eats lots of berries eats them by the time so we know that we're getting close mark look around and see if you can see any tracks All right. Huh? Well, I guess I'm on my own. All right, guys. So you can see here the beach. It likes to come over in these spots because, uh, well, there's water over here. There's lots of things here. As you can see, guys, this is a prime place where it could be. Oh, what's this? Oh, as you can see, this burrow right here is it's a lair. They like to hide in these places. I think I'm getting close, guys. All right, guys, right now I'm looking for it. Oh, what's this, guys? As you can see here, here's some tracks. This beetle is known to leave very large tracks, as you can see, guys. I think they're leading up in this direction, so we're going to be very careful and move through this bush, brush see if we can find it this I just want to explain to you guys this is a prime place for a beetle to live it's a good hilly area where you can get lots of sun and fresh water I think that we're close you hear that guys That's weird. I wonder that that was. All right, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's right there, guys. As you can see, we're about to catch this thing. All right, let's go. Oh crap. 
It's an attack. I'm about to enter the sting zone. <laughs> oh look, it's doing the mating call. It appears to be friendly. <laughs> Oh, all right, guys. As you can see, I'm a train bug professional, and I'm going to make a mating call back. It's doing its venom at me. It really got me. Oh God. Oh no, guys, it's not stopping! Oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna have to try to get him under control! Definitely got me! Oh, I bit my leg! I can barely move my leg! That's it! I'm gonna have to fight back, guys! Oh gosh. Guys, this is it. Oh no! Oh, it's coming! Okay, guys, this is bad! Oh crap, it's about to charge! It's charging! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that situation got out a little out of hand, but I think I handled it well. As you can see, the insect was not armed. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I'm gonna go down there and see if it's, if it's okay, guys. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it looks like some other insects are coming around it. They're bare. Mark? Are you okay? Wow. Seems to be they're retaking back their homeland. As you can see, guys, this is a prime example of nature. Mark. I don't know, Mark. And also, uh, I threw that little piece of the crap of the crap and I mean, I didn't kill it. I just admired it from a safe distance. You okay, Mark? Holy hell! <laughs> After the bug bite, I feel more fresh. Relieved that I finally conquered the challenge. I'm very, very happy that my friends Mark and Mario could help me on this journey. Help me through the pain index. Right now, we decided to get a breath of fresh air, calm down, relax after the journey. I don't know when I'm going to be taking on the next challenge. Who knows what kind of animals or insects are out there next, but for right now, I'm going to relax. I would like to thank you all for joining me on this journey. And for Mark and Mario for being so brave. And for that beautiful insect to give us the opportunity to see us. It's been a great journey so far. We've gone through the Yugawaga Tiku Wasp. We've been stung by many different insects like the Emocolidus Clytus. We saw some very beautiful sights like that one very rare insect. And now... We saw the red venom spewing rhino giant beetle. I know that was kind of a blurred definition, but I'm just exhilarated after all that happened. <sighs> after the journey, me and Mark decided to go get some sodas, grab some stuff, do some things, having a good time. I'd like to also thank you, my viewers, for staying with me for so long and helping me through this journey. We've had such a great run together. And I thank all of you for all of this. For all the opportunities you've allowed me to open up. For all your support and love. 
I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful to Mark, my friends. My great friend who sticks with me this entire time on the journey. He's a great friend. He always sticks by my side. And, and also Mario. I'd like to thank the two and I wish them the best in life. Again, thank you all for all of your help and all of your support. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. I'll see you on the next adventure. Rumor has it that there's a sting more painful than what I just experienced. Like the video to see me take on the Yuga Waga Alien Challenge.